Anne Shirley of Green Gables once said, looking forward to things is half the pleasure of them. I've been looking forward to this day for what feels like forever. Today, my journey to PhD begins. Hello everyone and good morning. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I am a PhD student in History and African American Studies at Yale University and today is the beginning of my PhD journey. It has been long awaited and when I started my master's at Oxford I was under 100 subscribers and now we are at 2.8 thousand subscribers which is just crazy to me to see how much this channel has grown and to see how many of you have been using my consultation services and my document review services. Some of you have attended my master classes or my office Office hours and it's been really fun to get to meet with you guys and helping you achieve your own goals of making it into higher education and potentially into postgraduate study. This morning I took my dog Moo for a walk and treated myself to a pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks. I had mostly been eating in and making my own coffee but I felt like today was a special day and I wanted to commemorate the beginning of my PhD. It's going to be a long journey. It's a six-year program so this is the beginning of a very long but very exciting expedition and I'm just so grateful and thankful for everyone that has helped me get to here, my parents, to my professors, to my friends, to everyone that has been with me along the way. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your support. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos as well. And I can't wait to get started. Now I'm gonna go ahead and work on my plan for the day. I have some readings that are actually due tomorrow that I need to be working on. I have a response that's due by midnight and I only have one more reading to do. I also need to get the Yale VPN fixed on my computer so that I can actually access the library resources. And then at 1.30, I have a class that I am auditing. It is an undergraduate lecture with my advisor. And that one is on the rise and fall of Atlantic slavery. So I am going to just be tuning into that and taking some notes, but I will not be participating. And then later this afternoon, I have a class on European empires and the law. I'm very excited about that one. We didn't have any formal reading to begin with. So I'm interested to see what we'll be discussing in that two hour seminar but I am very excited. I cannot wait to get started. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know how much I've been waiting for this moment. So I have my plan for the day and I am all set to go. I am gonna go ahead and just check down my readings and get started and let's see what this day holds. So I just got off the phone with the IT team at Yale to figure out the VPN situation. And the VPN is important because I need it in order to access my documents, the articles that I need for class, because oftentimes they are from journals and you need a 
subscription in order to actually have access to them. So the schools have the subscription, so you have to have access to their VPN. So luckily I have that all set up now. And that means that I can actually read this one article for my US Colonial Present class. This semester I am taking my theory class for the history department. It is my mandatory first year PhD class with my cohort. And then I have racial formations for my African-American studies requirement. And that is with my first year cohort as well. And then I have a European empires and law class. And then I'm trying to decide between that and the US colonial present class. So I am taking both this week and then I'll decide which one I'm going to stay in. Usually there is a shopping period at Yale, but because of the pandemic, we are no longer having the shopping period. So slightly different than most years and definitely different because we are studying from home but it's all good. And then I'm also auditing my advisor's class on the rise and fall of Atlantic slavery. So that is my course list. And I have just been working on readings all morning and replying to some emails for my business. I do college and postgraduate admissions consulting for students all over the world. And I have a lot of things that I'm working on at the moment, certain projects, collaborations with nonprofits, collaborations with community colleges. So if you are a student and you are looking to apply for transfer or you're looking to apply to undergrad or postgrad, whether that's for your master's or your PhD, I offer master classes that are completely free and they're once a month. And so you can sign up down below with my website. But now I'm gonna go ahead and just keep reading for the rest of the afternoon. And then I have class and then I'm planning on doing more reading this evening as well as editing a video. After that, I have to review documents for my clients. So that is the plan for today. Moo's over there laying in the sun. I don't know if you guys can see her, but now I'm just gonna keep on working and take you guys along. All right, so it's been a little bit and I got some readings done. Now I wanna change the scenery, so I decided to come into my room. I normally would be swapping between my couch and my desk, but my couch isn't here yet. It's gonna be here in about two weeks. So especially since we're on Zoom for classes and I have to sit at my desk for much of the day, I do like mixing it up a little bit and especially because I have some chronic back pain. So I normally wouldn't recommend studying in your room or on your bed, but I don't have my couch right now and I just need a little bit of a break from sitting at my desk. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this reading for my theory class and just hang out. Moo is here on the bed enjoying the sun and I am just going to do some reading, then eat lunch and then have my first class of the day. All right, so now I'm back at my desk. I went and made myself like a little cheese plate because I wasn't really feeling like having a full meal right now. I also need to recaffeinate a little bit, but I'm gonna see if maybe I should wait until my seminar because my seminar is a little bit longer. But now I'm prepping for the class that I'm auditing, which is at 1.30 and I'm just logging into Canvas to get the login credentials for Zoom and then prepping my notes and everything. When I'm auditing a class, I don't need to do any of the assignments or participate. It's really just about sitting in, taking notes, and this is a class I will likely TA or TF later in my PhD, so I just wanted to see how it's structured. I think it's important to be cognizant of how a lecture is taught and how it is produced, especially over Zoom. And so I am excited to audit. And then I have my seminar later this afternoon. So I'm just going to prep for that and see how it goes. lecture is now over. I took my notes. I am trying to do a review of GoodNotes versus Notability. I typically use GoodNotes, but I like recording lectures audio and Notability allows you to do that while you take your notes. So I want to do a review video of both applications for anybody considering getting an iPad. 
And if you guys have any other iPad related videos that you would like to see, please let me know because I'm trying to add it into the docket of videos I need to film. But now I'm gonna go ahead and go take a power nap. I have about an hour until my next class. I'm just gonna go hop into bed for a minute and then just get a little bit of rest and then get up, make myself a little bit of caffeine, either a matcha or a coffee, we'll see how I'm feeling. And then I have my first PhD seminar. So that is the plan. I'm gonna go ahead and take a nap. <laughs> All right, so the first seminar of my PhD is now officially complete. We ended a little bit early because we didn't have any particular readings to discuss this week. We were just talking about the structure of the course and what kind of topics we're gonna be covering. This class covers international law, legal histories of European empire and imperialism throughout the colonial period. I'm really excited for that class. I really like the professor. And there's also a couple people in that class that I already know, so that's nice. I am still deciding between that class and the US Colonial Present class. That is the update. Since class ended a little bit early, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of a break. I took like a 45 minute rest. It wasn't, I didn't sleep the entire time, but I'm gonna lay down, rest my back a little bit because it's gonna be a long night. I have to edit a video. I have client documents I need to review and I have readings for class tomorrow. So very busy, but I'm gonna go ahead, rest a little bit, make some dinner, and then continue on for the rest of the day. On the note of exciting projects on the way. All right, so as you guys saw, Chloe and I were recording for the podcast, and now I have taken Moo out for her evening walk. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some dinner, and then I am going to get back to work. I have some readings that I wanna get done, and then I need to review some client documents. So it's going to be a very late, busy night. Seems about accurate for how my PhD is likely going to end up. Very busy, but I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a cup of coffee, make some food, and then get straight to work. All right, it is very late. I've been doing my readings. I got my client documents in. Unfortunately, I did not get to edit my video, so that's just gonna have to get edited between classes tomorrow. In order to get it up on Tuesday, I might need to rearrange my filming schedule, but that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for my first day of my PhD. I'm also going to be filming throughout the coming weeks and there are lots of vlogs to come. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not yet subscribed, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye everyone. Bye.